We're here at the Lower East Side Tenement Museum at 97 Orchard Street, and the Tenement Museum is a uh, museum of immigration. So inside you'll find restored apartments to different time periods, and we tell the stories of different families who lived here in 1916, 1935, 1873, all the eras that sort of um, represent mass immigration on the Lower East Side. The Tenement Museum tells a very important story, the story of people who settle in the Lower East Side right after they um, come through Ellis Island and they start building their lives in the Lower East Side before they moving from there to other neighborhoods. So if you're visiting the Confino family apartment, you will um, get to see the restored space of a Sephardic Greek family who lived here in the 19-teens, and you'll get to explore what their life was like here on the Lower East Side, um, what their family situation was like, how their religious and cultural values sort of um, uh, intertwined with that of America. Since um, Greek history and Greek American history is very closely related to immigration, we thought that it would be a great opportunity to do something with the Tenement Museum. We have specific objects for um, this Sephardic family, including you know, cooking objects, um, a mortar and pestle they might have used to grind spices, to cook their um, specific cuisine from their region. You might also see uh, a mantas, which they brought with them, the sort of goat hair blanket um, that Victoria Confino, the teenage daughter of the Confino family, would have slept on in the kitchen of their tenement apartment. Uh, the history of Sephardic Jews is a very important part of Greek history, so we thought that the museum tells something which is very, very important. We've done a lot of research um, using a lot of historical data like census records to find the folks who lived in this building, and from there we're able to look forward and actually trace these families. So we were able to find the descendants of the Confino family and talk to them and learn a lot about their life here um, through oral histories, through photographs and memories that they had, which was really valuable for us the building stands the way it was and as you go through the different rooms of the building where uh, diff families from different ethnic backgrounds live you just begin to to get a deeper understanding of how people lived when they first arrived in this country. So it, what is really unique about the museum is that the building itself is the exhibit. The Convino family has definitely been here many many times. There are lots of them um, and they have mostly all been here and explored the museum and they love it. I mean, they really have a close association, obviously, with their own family history. And they've been really wonderful supporters um, of the museum over the years. It's peculiar. It's not glamorous. It's not shiny. It's just an old tenement building which looks, it has been maintained and looks exactly the same way that it looked 100 years ago. This is something that it's highly recommended for anyone who is interested not only in the history of New York City and the history of America, but uh, more particularly to the history of immigration. It's, it's, it's a fascinating place to visit because the Lower East Side at a certain point, um, it was one of the most densely populated areas in the world. And um, for a period of 10 to 15 years, over 7,000 people lived in that particular tenement building.